Well, hello there, people that are out and hello again. I'm the Abimati. Welcome to part 35 of my Rome 24 Let's Play campaign is Egypt. In the previous episode, I beat back the Julii, who had a bunch of armies around Salona. They are dead. I believe I captured the first eagles from the uh, Julii in the battle as well. So now I have two eagles from them. And I also, before that, beat a Scipiae army that was once again trying to bypass Terenzim and go for Kuroton. My army is being retrained over here. And they're sending... Oh yeah, I, these guys barely survived. And then they're sending this over. Assassin ready. You can't do anything this turn. And I also have this fleet here to harass the... Uh, Ships from the Brutia a little bit. Okay. I was going to retreat, but I'm actually going to give chase to this. Hopefully, there's not that many ships left, I, by the looks of things. Hopefully, we can sink that. Then they'll lose a Praetorian cohort and all of that other shit on, like, at sea. That would be great. This army is being trained here. After it's done, we need to send it somewhere for retraining. Why, yeah, build this, actually, because then we can retrain people there, because we don't have a huge city out here yet. Capua is the nearest huge city, actually. Capua or Messana. Um, do we have Ready to sail. some more big fleet? Yeah, you're training stuff for the army. Ready to sail. Big fleet there, you're training stuff for the army also. You don't have a good enough port. We probably could build one. Yeah. Do that, because that also gives you more money. Ships ready. Yes, mighty lord. Ships ready. There, just merge that into Ships one fleet. Ready. Aye, my lord. No more moves, sire. Aye, my lord. And you also come here. Do we have any other big navies sitting around here doing nothing? Don't see any. I did have, yeah, Aye, you guys. Lord. Those were just a couple of boats. Aye, my lord. Aye, my lord. Are you actually training? You're building it up. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, we need to retrain this army one more time. The Scipia are sending stuff over. The question is again, will they actually commit to that or not? And yeah, I'm also going to simultaneously do like a giant push here. I believe I explained this at the end of the previous episode because I don't want to be stuck in limbo in Leptus Magna because if I stay there, I can't retrain anyone. So they can just constantly harass me and then I eventually have to retreat because nobody is left, you know? So I want to beat this, then fucking ram straight through, capture that and that, and then I can retrain everyone there. And then we can expand everywhere else in Africa. I just need to get through this part as fast as possible. But of course, I need to clear the way first. Kind of depends on what they do. Either they commit to an attack and then we beat them on our, in our territory, or they were going to wander back and forth as they have been doing for a while. And then I'll just slowly beat them, go back to retrain, beat them, go back to retrain, and then keep that up until they are all dead and then punch through. So, so this, Brutia is sending an army this way. I kill to please. Some more stuff from the Julii. Yeah, I, this is the new army that, are, that is in here with the Pharaoh. You are going to retrain. I guess Larissa is the closest city because Thessalonica isn't big enough. Bailazora is... Yeah, it's both three turns away, it doesn't really matter. You're also going to retrain. Yeah, you need to retrain the cavalry. Yeah, the birds I have gathered over there in the meantime. These two, unfortunately, are very stuck there. Because I don't want to leave them so that the brutes I can just wander in there and take everything. Ships ready! Set sail! Set that no more moves, over there. Sire. Okay, end the turn and see what happens, actually. I'm not building anything here. Just get rid of a uh, culture building. Well, something is being besieged. <laughs> With that tiny force? We are besieged. 
Everybody else is just watching that happen. <laughs> They've got a ton of giant armies around here, and they're just like, no, 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 let this guy do it. <laughs> Cassius Scipio. Yeah, Spain is desperately trying to get a peace treaty with the Romans, but that obviously is never happening. All right, let's do the building. And then we'll figure out which other city they've laid siege to. Lots of schools uh, that I built this turn. I have a well-educated population soon. Here I can expand, okay. Anakinesis, does it matter? Oh, that's a Greek one, yeah? Yeah. Doesn't matter because there wasn't a culture penalty anymore anyway, but... Might as well. Alright, all the corruption will be gone. That's Exarta. Yeah, Cover fight corruption. Give me more law. That'll also get rid of all the corruption. Compass Sakai expanded. Nice. Public order is all right, but fight corruption again. Carsona cells. There is still some culture penalty, but I'll do this first. Cut some corruption down, give me more law. And then upgrade the markets. Uh, the trader to a market so we can get rid of that barbarian building. I think that's the only one because I don't think the port counts. That doesn't count at all. I know that doesn't count and that doesn't count either. So I think this is the only building that needs to be replaced. But we need some public order and get rid of corruption at the same time. So that's why I'm doing the secret police thing first. Croton. Yeah, for some reason the Romans never paved the roads there. So I'm going to have to do it myself. Sorrentum, large temple of Set. Yeah, Sorrentum's on the siege right now, and we're doing a super after that. Compass Alani expense as well. But well, we need to drop the taxes here because people are annoyed. You're building a bazaar, upgrading the markets with that. Not really high priority. Go do that first. And we already figured out Ankida. Yeah, it's a ransom. And oh, they laid siege to Porvalisium. They came back with stuff. Not that big either of a force. There's a bigger force there. Oh, that's artillery galore. <laughs> Scorpions, onagers, warhounds, gladiators. Yeah, you stand there, you stand there, and push them away. Actually, that was not really the correct cause of action, because now if I fight him, I have to fight the other guy too. Kind of wanted to deal with them one at a time. Oh well, it's too late now. Don't want to do the entire turn all over again. He's a dead man. Come on, 70%. It's just a stupid... Diplomat. Who shall die this day? He shall be extinguished there. Assassin ready. He's dead. No. Assassinate the general from the Brucey army. Who shall die this day? Death approaches. No. no, I don't think he's that great yet. I kill to please you. Death there we go. He didn't even get any traits from that. Oh, he's, he's actually a pretty decent guy. That was just a difficult general to assassinate. Speaking of assassination, I'm not going to assassinate the guy that I was going to assassinate because we have a target right here. 
Ooh, he's pretty tough. He's the Factioneer. Okay, never mind then. I'm gonna kill him in battle. Death stalks him. He's also pretty tough. Ah, oh, damn it! They landed that. Ship's ready. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, I was gonna go after this, but they just landed that. Oh, I could have sunk an eagle. Ship's ready. Make ready for combat. Victory. Set sail. Make ready for combat. Victory. Set sail. Ready to sail. Set sail. I need you to depleted, sire. get back to the to my own harbor. Ah, oh, that sucks. We're just too late. Sire. There's also that from the Jedi coming in, but I don't think there's anything on there. No, it's just Queen Quarims, I guess. Mighty General. Yeah, you are off to retrain your cavalry. My lead. Forward. Sire! Sire! Orders! You... what are you doing? Oh, you are... you have the retinue. Mighty General. That guy's get in? Oh no, he... the other guy already has amazing retinue. That's why you're standing there. Okay. March. My liege. My liege. Yeah, you get out, you get in. Orders. Forward. My liege. Pharaoh's bowman. Orders. Pharaoh's bowman. My liege. Now cavalry, now cavalry. I'm missing one more now cavalry. From there. And one from Bylazora. I already saw that. Okay, it's two now cavalry, and then there's the chariot archers from Sparta, and then this army is on full strength, and we just need to move it somewhere to retrain. And maybe we can actually move it to Pergamon. Ships ready. Yeah, I was gonna send you there. Yes, my but since Athens isn't training anything anymore. Go get some boats there. I, great lord. You build up that fleet. You see, they just don't want to commit. My liege, sire, march, sire, march, sire, forward. Out of moves, great. So we're just gonna have to do forward. it. We're just gonna have to kill them. Go back to retrain, kill the other one, go back to retrain, just keep doing that, and then once this the path is clear, we just rush straight for Laptus Magna, and then while we lay siege with one army, the other army is going to blitz straight past and capture this one. Thapsis. Kill that, kill that. Like kill the garrison of both of those, capture both, and then once we have this, we can sort of leave Laptus Magna behind. And if the, the Scipio wants to conquer it, then we can send someone back there, but... Also, I think I should move this fleet to help them along the coast, because maybe it'll also be faster if we just move them quickly like that over sea. And then we also have, like, a bit of naval support along the coast. It's not like in Rome 2, where you can have the, uh... Mighty General. Orders? What is this? Oh, that's Garrison for Salona. Forward. March. We can't do that, sire. March. Assassin ready. I'm an assassin here. By your will. My eyes are yours. None shall see me. Out of moves, sire. Let's have a little peek. Yeah, I was gonna probably like go. Because that army that I'm returning by Azor is not necessary. This guy will be relieved in Salona soon. Take Suggestica and then pour into northern Italy, capture some of these territories, because those are pretty wealthy. Make sure that the Julia the Julii start losing some stuff. Ready to sail! So yeah, you need to go to the port of Tarentum, I think, to retrain. Because that port seems to be big enough. 
Mighty General. Yeah, you better run. They have another assassin right there. Assassin ready. Death approaches. That's the third assassin from the Skippy Eye that I've killed. Okay, save it here. My lead. Attack! Cassius Scipio, you made a giant mistake by coming here with such a tiny force. Look at the command of my general. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can just do this with my cavalry only. Oh, we're in the woods a little bit. Let's have a little look. I think I can do this with cavalry only. Okay, nice spot. The Romans chose. Open space with a hill. So really you're gonna be a bit nervous that they were gonna stand and fight in those woods, but But they're leaving behind, they're leaving behind Wellitays and Time Watch. Alright, the general's coming over, run. Randomly, good job. Let the chariots run down the weather taste. Turn towards the cavalry, but they fucking miss. <laughs> yeah, don't bother, don't bother. Then they, now they have the hill advantage because you guys missed. Yeah, they're still routing. They just. Slowly marching over here. Oh, the Equites are in wedge formation. Okay, they killed everyone. Okay, they're committing. Should have charge them, don't give them a chance to charge me. Oh shit, is that my. Yeah, that's my guy. Get out. And then charge the Equites. I want him to be caught right in the middle of everything. Okay. Charge him in the back. It was clever of him to spot my marching army that wasn't ready, but he waited a bit too late with that because he had no support at that point. And now he's just gonna die. There we go. The enemy, the enemy cowards run. We'll just end it. I'm just. Victory one. It's about to say, just the Equites running away. It is not both well deserved and worthy. This one guy gets to tell the tale that the. Uh, 
confectionery is that? Victory is ours, mighty one. There we go. Right, so who can be betrayed here? Why the hell was I like, oh, I have to retrain people at Croton? Uh, it looks like we can retrain them at both places. Oh, is, do I have enough movement now? No, I don't. Of course not. Just bo boosting garrison here a little bit. That's alright. Yeah, we'll do that next, because then we can get some armor upgrades. I mean, they already have armor upgrades, but I mean for the, the garrison. Yeah, they charge those guys, I think, but that's fine. They'll be easily re retrained. Recovered most of those, which is nice, because I lost quite a lot of them. Okay. So that is done. Left the siege there. I'm gonna leave the um, emperor. I'm gonna leave the army here to see what they do. Orders. Actually, I'm gonna move it there. Out of it's like playing chess over there. Another ship from this Julii. It's a great admiral in there, but Ships ready. you can Aye, go back Lord. there to kill them. I think you'll kill them along the way, then go back to Tarentum. Okay, they're leaving that behind so I can attack them. Yeah, they, they, they just don't want to fucking do it. March. Out of moves, great lord. I keep wandering back and forth. It's the only thing they've ever done. And they're moving another army here. Jesus. Four armies that are just wandering back and forth and they don't even know what they want to do with them. Thing. Just or whatever. Would love to fight the corruption, but we've already built all the buildings. Whatever. Cardonia. There's no corruption. Yeah, more money. Good size expanded. Sculpture. That doesn't count. Don't think that counts either. Shipwrights shouldn't count. I don't know. Is it this? I don't see any other buildings. I can't destroy that, so that has to stay forever. I built that. I can't upgrade that either. Every, yeah, everything is... Yeah, I have... It's this, then. Well, that sucks, because this gives extra uh, trade. Whatever. Just build other things. Compass Armatai expanded. There's a bit of culture penalty here too. Oh, that makes sense because there's buildings. Don't worry about that for now. Get this first. For extra happiness and some less corruption. And then after that we can upgrade the markets to a bazaar. And then we will get rid of some culture penalty hopefully. Larissa... There. Athens has better farms. Upgrade that. I 
I still have to destroy that temple of Jupiter. I really don't want to. It hurts my Roman heart. Okay, that gets rid of the oh, Greek. I thought it was Roman, but get gets rid of the other one. Apollonia has roads. Built that temple up. Corvalisium. Get some baths over there. Thessalonica is done. We can get rid of some buildings if you want to, to uh, upgrade them. Or to, to, what's it called? To switch them to our culture. There's not a lot of people there. Get rid of the armor. Start with that. And Salona. Yeah, same thing. We're not gonna recruit anything from there because look at how little people there are. Sardis expands. You can finish this first. I'm not gonna rush. Okay. Science. You have to come all the way from there. No more moves, sire. Mighty general! Forward! Mighty general! Yeah, you come this Forward. way because you no need to go to Suggestica. Is this guy from the Julii coming in? Infortunatus! Oh, that is an <laughs> unfortunate name. <laughs> Fucking hell, they landed more stuff. They really do not want to lose Capua. They are absolutely moving everything that they've got over there. Also, those ships from the Julia disappeared. That's interesting. Ships ready! Aye, my lord! Moves depleted, sire! Orders! Orders! March! Orders! Forward! Um. Yeah, we can't merge any of that because there's too few units. Well, we'll do, we just have to do it like this then. Now maybe we should have moved the army to. Well, we can still do that actually. Move them to Croton and then retrain everything here. You go there, do that, and then we can even like queue up one extra archer. Ships ready. Yeah, you don't do that. Sail. Stay here. Yeah, fucking hell. It's gonna be one massive grind in order to get to Capua. Who shall die? Okay, you need to assassinate some of these guys because I do not want to deal with all of these generals. It'll make the fighting a lot easier when there are no proper generals commanding these armies. Assassin ready. Death stalks him. So you're gonna have to be busy for a while, Mr. Assassin. Assassin ready. Death stalks him. Oh, look at that, he gained extra command because he survived the assassination attempt. Assassin ready. He's a dead man. See, like, look at that. He keeps gaining command when he survives my uh, assassin. Assassin ready. He's a dead man. Come on, just fucking kill him properly now. I kill to please. He's a dead man. Oh, I didn't gain command that time. Come on, 38%. That is approaching 50-50 in my mind. There we go. Can you train assassins here? No, because we do not have that bazaar yet. Oh, that's probably why I'm building it after this. Do add a few extra soldiers there. Mighty general. Let's see, you're off to there. Kill one of those armies and then just retreat, I guess. And then this guy's gonna 
relieve you, do the same thing, kill army, then go back to retrain. And then we're going to keep doing that until all these armies are dead. And then we punch straight through, and then we retrain everybody for the final time, and then we punch straight through to Lapsus Magna. Oh, fuck off! I attack him from the south, I attack him from the fucking southeast, and then he moves uh, southwest somehow. Right next to his buddy. My ears are yours. Moving. Assassin ready. Death stalks him. He's dead. There, just practice your hone your craft or whatever the the phrase of that Assassin is. Assassin ready. Death approaches. There. Don't really think there will be any riots because of all the troops that they put in there. Assassin ready. You go here. No. I had another spy right here. Yes. Well, you can come here. Okay, so Julii, what are you up to? There's a lot of time watch there. Oh, there's a lot of units, but all super, super, super damaged. I kill to please you. Oh wow, 11% 11 cha 11 chance success, even for an assassin of his talent. Who shall die this day? Assassin ready. Okay, so this assassin is better, so we'll see what his chances are in the next turn. Orders? Yeah, keep building ships. Ready to sail. We're building up that fleet as well. Same thing here. We're building up this one. Ready to sail. Yeah, there's no barrier. There's no blacksmith there, so we need to go somewhere else to retrain the the boats. But that's fine. Temple of Nike. There. Can we do anything with that, or have I just left that for now? Just left it for now. Okay. After this is done, we'll destroy that and rebuild it. That's a Greek temple. The you can retrain. You can train Spartan hoplites from there. I think. You need the night the temple of Nike and the the hidden resource from Sparta. Um I think we'll just end the turn here. Oh yeah, forgot to move the garrison. Okay, another army's coming over. It's one by one, they're just sending stuff over. Oh, there's one of those boats. Oh, cleaning up the rebels for me. A lot of shit. Oh, they're moving that crappy army this way. That's unfortunate of them. Well, his name is Infornatus, so it makes sense. It's very in character. Yeah, you come this way. Support is coming as well. Oh, Jerusalem. Oh well, sucks to be you. That's that's what you get for being so unrestful the entire time. Stupid idiots. Yeah, well, Spain is never gonna get that done. It's a miracle they managed to get two at once. Well, it's not really a miracle because it's just the AI giving him fucking grace there. Because the AI is fighting me, so then the AI has to put everything in their favor and not in my favor. So, magically, the Romans are like, yeah, yeah, let's have a peace treaty with Spain. Well, then again, it was Spain that attacked the Romans. But still, my point still stands. Katra is bigger now. Go ahead and I don't know, build that. 
for some more money. Byzantium, public baths, upgrade the farm. How is our population in Byzantium? Well, it's halfway there. Just over halfway there. Corinth, armorer, good job. Upgrade people. More growth. Yeah, Sparta, we're destroying the Temple of Nike. Um, let's build one to uh, Isis. I don't think I've built a single temple to her yet. Just like how there's only one Temple of Nike, like, every anywhere at Sparta, we're gonna have one Temple of Isis there. Yeah, farms after that, apparently. And then Thermon is blacksmith after that. Yeah, the House of Judea, because they magically got money from somewhere, and now they're training non-stop. Overall, we're still out of their league. Yeah, they, they did. <laughs> Look at that. They've just been training and training and training and training like crazy. We even gained some territory. They're just attacking the Britons, I think. Yeah, see, look at that. They're actually making more money. Even though they keep on training, they just make more money now than before. Well, we'll see how well that goes once we start conquering all of their stuff in Italy. All their actually actual rich territories. They have to convert all of those crappy barbarian towns first. The Brutti are still are very much into shit. Mighty General! Attack! Ah, your buddy moved too far away that time. Attack! Orders? There? Onward! Aye, my lord! Depleted, Two turns. We can live with that. Move them to Pergamon, retrain them, and then we're going to drop them there. That is going to be real fun when we're going to take out the financial heart of the Scipii. And then maybe we can also launch attacks into Africa that way to even ease the to make the process of this even easier. Oh, hey, would you look at that? You cheated a guy into existence. How cute. He shall be extinguished. Stop doing that. How many turns does that take? Four turns. Now do that first, actually. It's kind of more important to get an assassin there. Okay, where can you move? To there. So I'm going to move you to there. Yeah, they just can't reach us then. And then we'll see what they do now that this army is coming. All right, now we have to lift the Siege of Tarentum again. Will they stand and fight this time? Oh, what the hell have they got even? That's Hastati, 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 and some Town Watch. One unit of Equites with the General on it, or the Captain. Mercenary Hoplites, Ballistas, Roman Archers with four, uh, I mean three Bronze Experience. And two Wellites. Okay, so just crappy infantry. Oh, two Equites actually. One Roman Archer, two Wellites, Mercenary Hoplites, and Ballistas. Okay. I'll fight this, and I'll fight those Brutii at Porrelissum, and then I'll... Uh... Yeah, by the way, apparently that settlement is called Porrelissum. There's no extra I. For some reason, my mind always placed an extra I there, but the, the settlement is called Porrelissum. But Porrelissium sounds... Mm, Better in my mind, but apparently that is wrong because there is not an additional eye. Also, I love this battle map. Oh, I remember this with that tiny lake there, forty or many times before. But yeah, I like this like this map. Nice and flat, no trees, no surprises, just one one versus the other. You know, 
well then I've got some reinforcement. They're coming in from a very annoying place though, because I think they're coming right from where the army is, uh, the skip the IR. So that sucks for them a little bit. Right. Get chariots out there. The oh yeah, that's right. Send them to the point of crisis. They always come in from the fucking tiny lake and then that kind of messes with their pathfinding a bit. Also, there's a uh, graveyard here. Even with uh, like, an, like, a spi like a place where they put all their urns. For <laughs> yeah, tiny pyramids. Yeah, Roman graveyard there. Yeah, charge, or run away, I mean, don't let them charge us. Keep running away, keep shooting behind you. Okay, and now cease fire. Nice. Oh, they lost half of their cavalry. Wow, who the hell is pretending to be a Pharaoh's bowman? <laughs> and they're moving part of their army there because my reinforcements are there. Oh, how cute you came back. Well, I didn't stop chasing you. Kill them all. Good job. Oh, the Roman archers are there. I'm not going to say no to that. Well, I do hope that they won't rout. They could totally beat that, but I just hope that their morale will hold. Okay, do get away, because you're being charged there from the sides. Stasi there. That's what I'd say, is you can charge that and then get right, get out of here. Alright, so charge the Hastati. a very silly charge. Oh, time watch, ignore that. I wasn't really planning to do this cavalry only, but it seems to surely develop that way, doesn't it? Uh, I kind of want the general to do that if we're going to charge that. Just came back. How about the Pharaoh? Well, oh, that's not the Pharaoh. How about the general? There we go. Now we're gonna fucking do that point blank throwing pila thing again. There we go. Wiped out. Move them there. Yeah, lots of that aquatase there. Did do a good number on the general. Captain. Move the chariots nearby so that they're frightened by chariots. Oh, you don't even need to charge them in the back. Oh, 
continue to fire at will now because that was just because I didn't want you to do friendly fire, but now you can totally shoot at them. Damage to Stasi there. Charge those Aquatides. You go here. What the hell? Oh, that's the time watch I just defeated the thing. Alright, get out. You can beat that, but... Oh. Charge the Stasi then. I've been caught by the fucking... The Ballista, guys. And then you're doing it partially? Fuck off. Yeah. Oh shit, they're charging my chariot somewhere, yeah. Oh, now you come back. Wow, really? We got some fucking balls here, the 20 of you. To throw Pila on me with that tiny group and then also expect me to not do anything. Unfortunately, we have to chase the guy off. There we go. Time watch, charge that. Broken, good job. Astati, if you charge that, maybe they'll run because the general's gone. Why do you always insist on charging on like the edge of the entire group? The whole point of this is to like to cause as much disruption as possible, so why don't you just charge straight through the middle? Shaken. There, what it says it does. Oh, there we go. They just ran for some reason. Run them down. You're all exhausted. And you're not getting a chance to rest because they all want a fucking piece of you. I wanted to have them sit there for a bit so that I could catch the breath, but the Romans are not allowing it. Okay, uh, all of you guys just decide to ignore my orders just because I told you to get in standard formation. Fucking idiots. Let's quickly run forward and then... Yeah, quickly run. Phalanx formation. Now oh, they're gonna throw spears. Fucking assholes. Oh no, never mind. There we go. Just wanted to get the archers in play. What are they doing? Are they trying to leave? No, not really. I don't know what they're doing. They're just moving around. There we 
exhausted. Oh, they're charging us. Oh, that was a pretty nice charge. Charge them as well. There we go. There we go. The last guys just ran away. Go. Don't go after them yet because my archers are still busy. Okay, now we can run this guy down. There we go. Victory lies in your grasp, and there is nothing the enemy can do but run. Only twelve survive. I healed a bunch of the cavalry and the chariots. Cavalry and chariots gain extra experience as well as the general. There we go. Army destroys. My liege, move out. My liege, orders forward. Sire, move out. Retrain that. Oh yeah, we can retrain chariots here. That's right. That's why we're building the. Uh, orders. That. Well, we can't make it to Croton, so we have to do it here. So I have to make do. At least we've healed some during the battle, or after the battle was over. Who shall die this day? I obey by your will. Moving to position. He's dead. He's dead. There we go. Nice. Who shall die this day? Yeah, 11% for you. It's 12? What the hell kind of traits does he have that he is so difficult to assassinate? Of course, 88% chance of success and he dies. Fucking idiot. There. Okay, so he has zero retinue. Good commander, horribly scarred, plus six to your general's hit points, okay. Publicly loyal, suspicious. Okay, there, plus two to personal security. Watchful, plus one to personal security. Favor from the gods, minus one to personal security. Utterly disgraced. Oh, he lost an eagle. Minus eight influence, 20% penalty, popularity with the people. Oh, that's why he's called Infornatus. Ah, because he lost an eagle. And then he gets another plus one to public security. Uh, oh, public security. Not personal security. Okay, so that's why he's called Infornatus, because he lost an eagle. That's not his name. He wasn't born with that name. He that He is given that name because he lost an eagle. And because he inherited that trait. So he isn't really favored by the gods then, if he lost an eagle. But okay. Yeah, he was probably scarred, like, he fought his way out and then he lost an eagle, but he managed to survive, and now he's called Weebius Infornatus, because he lost an eagle. That's pretty cool that the game does that, he ch they changed the name so that... You know, just like, uh, what was it called? This guy's called the Conqueror. You see? Tuzma is the Conqueror because he conquered so much. Because he's a great victor or whatever the thing is. Uh, where is it? Conquering Hero. I think that's when he is called the Conqueror. 
There's, a, there's one more layer above this, when he's, then he's called the Great, I think. Just like, you know, Alexander the Great. Uh, but it's pretty cool that the game does that, like, when, depending on what traits they get, they can get, like, nicknames. Just like in real life and stuff, you know? That's pretty cool. Ready to sail. Okay, so yeah, those guys go there. Orders. Yeah, waiting to see what that does. We're gonna do the next episodes, but I just in this episode before I end it off, just really quickly want to Orders. kill this. The enemy. Nothing interesting. I have to be careful with charging cavalry on Auxilia, but other than that. And I'm pretty sure everyone can be retrained in Porvalisium. And this is the Pharaoh's old army. The, as in the first Pharaoh. I haven't fought the battle with this army in a while, I think. Why the hell are they like that? Right, I'm just going to do some horse skirmishing. Yeah, didn't really pay attention to what the army had exactly, but it was mostly like a Stati and Time Watch and shit, so... This won't be that difficult. I have Principes and early Legionnaires apparently, but... They won't survive. Oh, well, they've routed already and just appeared. Now, does the Frightened by Chariot stack? That would be interesting. Could explain why they just ran away, because each unit counts as like one morale penalty, so they get three morale penalties. It would be kind of funny if that's what was happening. Auxilia are there. Again! Why the hell do you charge the edge of the entire unit? Yeah, don't fight those fucking... What are they called? Uh, Auxilia. See there. Eagles charging. Ah, uh, eagle. The legionnaires are charging in. Oh, he was the first one in. Jesus. Wavering. Come on, just kill a couple more just before. There we go. Good job. Good job. It's the captain with the Hostati. Within the desert cavalry. There 
a bit unsure of what to do. You go ahead and shoot them in the back. They'll be dead in a few shots, I think. Just want to make sure that they're actually like, gone, gone. Nice chance to shoot them in the back a little bit. One guy remaining. And there he goes. Good job. Prince of Base. Tired and being shot to shit. Reloading. Okay, they're gonna try to hit my general. do it again there we go fuck you just plow straight into the side of them oh that's the auxilia that's a bit of a poor target but we have to get rid of them okay there we go luckily they don't have as mor much morale as tree rei Because they're essentially the upgrade of TRI, but they're a bit of a downgrade, honestly. At least the first one in. Oh, they browse it immediately, it's okay. There we go. <laughs> he was on the he was on the ground there, but just when he stood up, he got an axe to his forehead. There we go. Is yours. And no one can argue that it is not both well deserved and worthy. Didn't lose any chariots, only lost a couple of those guys. Zero survivors, very good. Victory! Retinue expands, shield bearer. Ramesses. It is, this is different Ramesses, not my Pharaoh, who's also called Ramesses. Yeah, we can retrain the cavalry. Yeah, we can retrain everyone from here. Even the chariots. You guys get out. You... No, oh, never mind. We don't have enough movement to go there. Alright, compass the SOGs. Seems like an alright target. Like, just clear the area out and then capture that. And they really only have, like, very tiny, poor territories. They're so stuck. The Breach yeah, they're so incredibly stuck. Because they, even if they had money, uh, they would have to invest it in, a lot, in building up these territories, you know? So, it's just like they're, they're, they're like, in a never-ending loop. Because they need territory to make money, but they... Yeah, you know, it, there, there's, it's just how crazy how beyond stuck they are. Because they're in the red, so they can't even, like, go out back into the woods over here and lick their wounds and, like, build up their stuff. Because they don't even have any money to do that. So in order to do that, they need to first conquer something. But, of course, that doesn't work because I keep defeating them. And even if I, like, clear out so many armies that eventually they have so little upkeep that they start making money again, first of all, they have to get out of that, because it's not like in the older, in the newer Rome Toads of War, uh, or in the newer Toads of War games, where the AI just gets cheats to the point where they can, they just literally cannot go into the red, where you just, if you're at zero, they just will never go below zero. 
except for the player, because the player magically can still go below zero, but the AI cannot, because they're just cheated that way that they cannot go below zero. But that's not in this game. If they go in, if they go in the negative, they have to first pay off their entire debts, and then they can go back to making money again. So even if I clear out all of their armies so that they make enough money to make some money again, they have to first clear off their debt, and then finally, once they have, fi they do have some money to do something with it, they ca they just first have to build up these territories because they can only hire crappy town watch and shit. So they are so 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 beyond stock. Yeah, we have to do the same thing with the Scipio and the Julii. Take out their financial center, and then they're stuck with these ridiculously expensive armies that they don't have the territories to pay for. So the Scipio have a very fragile economy, so if I take out Sicily, I'm pretty sure they're already uh, financially ruined. The Julii, not so much. They have a lot of big financial hub right now. So, I imagine that... See, that's a large city, so that's upgraded already. That's still a town. See, they own this. Don't really think the uh, Britons are anywhere on mainland Europe anymore. See, they they also are conquering all of this stuff from Spain, so. Trying to see uh, that that is still Spanish or Iberian. That's okay. So they have two settlements left. They lost all of this. Oh, never mind. New Carthage is still theirs. They've lost Oscar and Corduba. Oh, and they still have this, but the AI is notoriously bad with naval invasions in this game. They do do it sometimes, but very rarely. I, great Lord, attack! Oh, wow, they just sunk that. Nice. Hi, my Lord. Okay, I'll end the episode here. So, in the next episodes, we are going to probably fight some big battles here against the Scipii. So, the plan is still the same. Just, like, attack, uh, kill an army, then go back to Cyrene for retrain, then go attack again, go back to retrain, attack, go back, attack, go back. Keep doing that until all these armies are dead, and then we're just going to Blitzkrieg to let the Smackna conquer it, and to Thapsus conquer that, and then... Thapsus, Thapsus, from Thapsus, we're going to conquer everything else. Also, I, I don't know how far we're going to get in the pre in the next episode, but this army Shit, needs to go ready. to Bergmont to retrain and then go to Sicily, so that may also be interesting that we can take out their financial center by taking out three extremely wealthy cities. And these two are going to go up north. Capture Suggestica, maybe also deviate to Aquincum at some point, but primarily Suggestica and then attack the 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 little bit about the Julii, Batavium, Arminium, Armin, um, Arminum, Arvatium, yeah, Arminium, Arvatium, Mediolanium, Suggesta. Yeah, first need to clear the stars, but yeah, and kill the guy that lost an eagle. He still has an eagle, well, not a lot. He still has remnants of an eagle, so he he can lose he can lose one more eagle before he dies. Anyway, hope you Romans enjoyed it. Click the like button underneath if you did. Subscribe to join the Roman army, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later, Romans. What a thing.